Good morning, everyone. So we have some crazy news. D-Wave QBTS trading is halted on the NASDAQ as we speak. This is a breaking story. I don't have that much information on it, but I wanted to share what I've learned so far. I'm going to post this video when we know more about the story. Um, but currently, if we go over to the NASDAQ trading halts, QBTS D wave quantum in and QBTS warrants are both halted. So if we go over to trading view, we see no trading has happened for the last hour. Now we headed over to QBTS stock, which is a subreddit and there's some confusion, uh, clearly about what's going on. So I wanted to go through some of the early discussion on this. And, and obviously we don't know what's going on. Um, one user said that the pop, there was a price pop to $15. Uh, another user is worried that, and we have it flagged. So on, on NASDAQ, if we look at the code, um, it's flagged as a T1. So what is a T1? So on NASDAQ, a T1 halt signals a trading halt due to pending significant or material news from a company, allowing time for the news to be fully disseminated and for investors to properly react to it before trading resumes. Here's a more detailed explanation. Material news. T1 halts occur when a company is about to release information that could significantly impact its stock price and to avoid speculation or instability. The exchange halts trading until the news is released. So we do have a Skywater Technology D-Wave Quantum article from Tip Ranks over here. And Skywater announced that D-Wave's advantage to annealing quantum computer prototype fabricated by Skywater was used to achieve computational supremacy in quantum simulation. The research was published by the American Association for the Advancement of Science in his journal. The article details the work which demonstrates that D-Wave's superconducting annealing quantum computing processors can efficiently solve problems beyond the practical reach of classical computers. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to track this story closely. I'm going to post an update as soon as we have one. This is whether it's good news or bad news, it is news and it is significant news because we are a day before earnings. So we will see how this develops. All right. So we have the news from D wave. They've released it just now in a press release and I'm, I've already gone through and I've highlighted everything to save you all time. Uh, so you can go on with your day. This is a super exciting announcement from D-Wave. And of course, they have earnings tomorrow as well. So a bunch of crazy stuff going on for D-Wave. Without further ado, let's jump in to the article analysis and price action. All right. So beyond classical, D-Wave first to demonstrate quantum supremacy on useful real world problem. A new landmark peer reviewed paper published in Science Beyond classical computation and quantum simulation unequivocally validates D-Wave's achievement of the world's first and only demonstration of quantum computational supremacy on a useful real-world problem. Research shows that D-Wave's annealing quantum computer performs magnetic material simulation in minutes that would take nearly one million years and more than the world's annual electricity consumption to solve using a classical super supercomputer with GPU clusters. D-Wave's Advantage 2 quantum annealing computer used in a supremacy achievement, a testament to the system's remarkable performance capabilities. D-Wave today announced a scientific breakthrough published in the esteemed journal Science, confirming that its annealing quantum computer outperformed one of the world's most powerful classic supercomputers in solving complex magnetic material simulation problems with relevance to material discovery. The new landmark peer-reviewed paper, Beyond Classical Computation and Quantum Simulation, validates this achievement as the world's first and only demonstration of quantum computational supremacy on a useful problem. 
All right, from Dr. Alan Baratz. This is a remarkable day for quantum computing. Our demonstration of quantum computational supremacy on a useful problem is an industry first. All other claims of quantum systems outperforming classical computers have been disputed or involved random number generation of no practical value. Our achievement shows without question that D-Wave's annealing quantum computers are now capable of solving useful problems beyond the reach of the world's most powerful supercomputers. We are thrilled that D-Wave customers can use this technology today to realize tangible value from annealing quantum computers. Realizing an industry-first quantum computing milestone. This research proves that D-Wave's quantum computers can reliably solve quantum dynamics problems that could lead to discovery of new materials. Through D-Wave's technology, we can create and manipulate programmable quantum matter in ways that were impossible even a few years ago. This is a significant milestone made possible through over 25 years of research and hardware development at D-Wave, two years of collaboration across 11 institutions worldwide, and more than 100,000 GPU and CPU hours of simulation in one of the world's fastest supercomputers, as well as computing clusters in collaborating institutions. Besides realizing Richard Feynman's vision of simulating nature on a quantum computer, this research could open new frontiers for scientific discovery and quantum application development. All right, the Advantage 2 prototype used to achieve quantum computational supremacy is available for customers to use today via D-Wave's Leap real-time quantum cloud service. The prototype provides substantial improvements from previous generation advantage systems, including increased qubit coherence, connectivity, and energy scale, which enables higher quality solutions to larger, more complex problems. Moreover, D-Wave now has an Advantage 2 processor that is four times larger than the prototype used in this work and has extended the simulations in the paper from hundreds of qubits to thousands of qubits. Dr. Nishimori of the Tokyo Institute of T Technology. This paper marks a significant milestone in demonstrating the real-world applicability of large-scale quantum computing. Through rigorous benchmarking of quantum annealers against state-of-the-art classical methods, it convincingly establishes a quantum advantage in tackling practical problems, revealing transformative potential of quantum computing at an unprecedented scale. Dr. Seth Lloyd, professor of quantum mechanical engineering, MIT, and one of the most esteemed names in quantum research. In an elegant paper, the D-Wave group has used a large-scale quantum annealer to uncover patterns of entanglement in a complex quantum system that lie far beyond the reach of the most powerful classical computer. The D-Wave results show the promise of quantum annealers for exploring exotic quantum effects in a wide variety of systems. Dr. Juan Karaskia, I believe these results mark a critical scientific milestone for D-Wave. They also serve as an invitation to the scientific community as the results offer a strong benchmark and motivation for developing novel simulation techniques for out-of-equilibrium dynamics and quantum many-body physics. Dr. Martin Mayer, this paper is not only a tour de force for experimental physics, it also remarkable for the clarity of the results. The authors have addressed a problem that is regarded both as important and is very challenging to a classical computer. The team has shown that their quantum annealer performs better at this task than the state-of-the-art methods for classical simulation. Dr. Alberto Nocera, the University of British Columbia, our work shows the impracticability of state-of-the-art classical simulations to simulate the dynamics of quantum magnets, opening the door for quantum technologies based on analog simulators to solve scientific questions that may otherwise remain unanswered using conventional supercomputers, conventional computers. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a lot to digest. Um, holy smokes. Um, let's take a look. Once trading was open after being halted, we can see that D-Wave had two impressive candles moving from a price point of $5.41 to almost $6.40 with a 13% gain on the day with about three and a half hours left in the trading day in the New York Stock Exchange. So a very positive news article, a very positive day for D-Wave. Super exciting. The names 
that are corroborating this research, the release, the halt, all of that is so crazy. It's going to take me some time to digest all of it. I'm probably going to do more content on it. Um, let's not forget that D-Wave is also reporting earnings tomorrow. And on my last video we covered, uh, Dr. Baratz is saying he is looking forward to sharing Q4 2024 earnings. So we have earnings before market tomorrow as a major catalyst. We also have the conference for D-Wave at the end of this month. And we have Dr. Baratz on the NVIDIA GTC quantum panel coming up next week. So QBTS currently trading at $6. Don't think it will be trading at $6 for long. Keep this on your radar as a pure quantum play. They have made some major, major milestones um, in this paper that they've released. Congratulations to D-Wave. And um, let's keep following the quantum story and learning as we go. Thanks, everyone. If you enjoy content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out.